Hey guys, Utipus here, and today we are back playing some more Metabots off screen. I did grind up Tortoise Metal's shell, or the Tortoise Metal, up to level 10 so he can have his Metal Force. I also grinded up the. Um, what was it? Uh, also grinded up copper metal. I did some grinding in here on the metal boss that you will find here. That's why I have certain heads that uh, you don't see. I mean that uh, we hadn't seen before. Also, there are a few. I went and bought a few metal parts just to help out with that. Grinded up copper metal. Copper has anti C abilities, which come in handy later on in this area because there are a lot of water type metabots that you will have a good potential to face. What's that thing taking a nap in the tree? And the tree he's talking about is this tree up here. We just uh, go click on it. There's something in the tree. If I kick it, maybe it'll fall out. Stop that. If, what happens if it's a caterpillar or something falls out? I really want to know what's up there. Should I give it a kick? Yep. Thud. What the heck? The ground and the sky have switched! Rubber Robo Gang. We're going against the Rubber Robo Gang with uh, Meta B and Kappa. Unfortunately, I'm not using uh, any like support metal parts right now because more or less my metal parts do not have good search or support capabilities. And that's kind of sad. I forgot to switch out their legs. Uh, all-terrain, not all-terrain, but um, multi-legged, or what's classified as a multi-leg metabot, will do better here. Because, though, the terrain, the terrain is like mountain or something, so it has the higher advantage here, so they tend to move faster and get to the point quicker. There aren't many uh, different areas that you can do this with. It's just, it's just it, it, a, a few of them will do it, and a few of them won't. I am just using uh, standard attacks right now. Uh, I don't plan on really using meta forces all too much in these battles. I mean, there's some battles that, yeah, it's better off you, you do use meta force later on. But early on, it takes way too long to charge it up. In comparison to the output that you get for it. It's not bad, but it's just not really worth it. I can't sleep very well here. Those rubber robots are everywhere. There's something in the tree. If I kick it, maybe it'll fall out. What happens if it's a caterpillar or something? I really want to know what's up there. Should I give it a kick? Yep. Inside, you get a, uh, another caterpillar. caterpillar. Anyway, I do need to switch out the leggings on my uh, metabots here to parts like, like, swig, stem, and swig and stem. I only have one of each. I do, I do have a bad habit of just selling off meta parts. Just so I'm not, I don't have too many in my inventory. I mean, it doesn't really make a difference when you do it, but yeah, it's it's just one of those things. I I tend to do it, and I really shouldn't. Uh, this is one of the new metabots that you will find here, the Flora. They are they're complicated. They can be really good, but they're honestly really bad. Mainly because their only attack is with their head. And unfortunately, they're not really hitting things too well. But that's not why they can be good. Like, that laser does a lot of damage. It only has two hits, though. The rest of its body parts cannot do damage. They are literally there just for, while equipped, it boosts this stat. So... Like, its only attack, attacking ability is its head, which is honestly fairly bad. I mean, once you think about it, it's, it's a... Uh, yeah. 
If you're able to dodge those, you can more or less avoid this kind of conflict. Anyway, let me get through this battle and I'll be right back. So if you're going to get a meta part, I would honestly suggest get the head. The head is, the, in my opinion, the only part on that metabot worth a keep. Give me, a, give me back my metabot. Hey guys, I figured I'd explain how to set up a rotation or auto battle in this while we're going through one of these battles. It's actually very simple. You just go to this screen on your metal and you would choose the perform an action, whether it be use your head, your right arm, left arm, charge metaphors, use metaphors one, two, or three. You would choose that action and repeat it all the way down this line and it will continuously repeat until when it ends the line, it'll go to the front and so on and so forth. I would be careful because your right arm on your screen when you're playing is on the left side, but your left arm is on the right side. It is a little confusing because that screen is just showing you if the metabot was literally looking at you, how you would tell which one's the right and left. But when you're trying to do this, it, sometimes it does mess with your mind a little bit. So I would be aware of that. That's all I really wanted to go over in that. And you see that my levels are kind of higher because I am currently grinding. Anyway, later. Still, those guys are cockroaches. They're everywhere. It is true. Odobo Pond Taxi. Holy Metaroli! One, one ride for one dollar. Robo, 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 Robo. You're. You're one of the Rubber Robo Gang! What are you talking about? You're mistaken, man. All I did was pick up the phrase. The Rub the Rubber Robo Gang's here? My news tell my news nose tells me there's a scoop here. You're gonna ride or not? Hurry up and decide. But if you're only gonna but, but I can only give one person a ride, buddy. We've got no choice, I guess. Icky, I'll pay for you, so take the ride over there. If there's anything worth checking out, come I'll come over afterwards. And they take you to this chest island, which is literally, like, you don't come back here, so do empty out all the boxes. There are some good things. Water taxi stand. As far as I know, you can't come back here. You, head part, psycho missile, uh, one dollar, and this one, uh, ninja pops out. Sasuke, the three ninja brothers, arrives like the wind. Oops, ninja... <laughs> Ninja has used the wrong exit. Ninja vanish! And you get the jellyfish medal in the uh, Meta B version, you'll get jellyfish. In the uh, Rikusho version, you will be getting, I think, we're gonna just call you jelly. I th think you get the bear, maybe? Um. What do you get? What do you get? Uh, I'm looking through my notes. You get the... Queen Medal. You'll get the Queen's Medal. Okay. Queen's Medal is compa compatible with stop parts. Uh, it starts with a huge strike and berserk, medium shoot and aim shot and nothing on everything else. This is a really good medal early on because it can be used for grapple and shot type whereas a jelly uh jelly metal is compatible with palm parts starts with a high aim shot low heal shoot support and nothing on everything else this is a great range metal early on if your equip metals are high enough on in level this will start with a metal force re Meta Force already mastered the first meta force is awesome it turns all metals Metabot parts to bomb for the battle only after you use the metal force giving the meta parts 100%. Sorry, but uh, I, I was reading the guy. I was reading a guide I'm reading into, but uh, because I don't know all the metals, I generally just know like there are certain metals that I play with before I leave the next era, area. Boom, 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 boom. Ta -da, and I'm off to the next area, but uh. 
I've played through the Rikosha version. The Met Queen's Metal is not too bad. It's, uh, it's okay. The Jelly Metal, I don't know. But I do know that the metals are proportionate to, like, I know I keep saying, like, but to the levels of your me current metals equipped, I believe. And that's why Jelly is level 9. I think it's supposed to be like one level below or something. It's like maybe half of your current level or something. I am not entirely sure. But we're going to switch out to Jelly for a while because if we take a look, its shot is 6, its aim shot is 10, which is nice. But it also has support. Support is very good. I could just switch this one out for a battle rifle for the time being, and I can switch your... What's the Toy Mander? Toy Mander is a name shot, but I'm going to switch uh, the search... Give you the search head, because yes, it is good. And Vulcan's okay. We'll, we'll just keep Vulcan for the time being, because we're not going to be running into any metabots that are uh, too scary. I do have to say, do not underestimate the power I, of, like, support. Like, the uh, scouts head parts that can boost up your aiming early on in the game it's really really helpful I came to see the rumored ghost the one ever the one scaring everyone I heard that there's a, a hag living in the mountain but I don't believe it Otoro pond and we're gonna go down here I would save I would say, uh, I, I realize there's going to be a lot of cuts here, and I'm sorry for that because there are a lot of random meta ba battles that happen when you're walking around. They don't just happen when you're standing still. But, uh, I would save because this point determine at this point, what you do here will determine what kind of metal you'll get later on in the story. It's something that would happen at the end of the game very end game but it does determine something if you want to go for a certain metal mind you you can't save and just like unless you only save once in this entire game it really doesn't make a difference but if you want to go for if you want to get the dialogue you go you would uh, do something here but if you want to go for the metal you would do another th act and I'm going to explain this to get the cat metal you would talk to Koji. Only Koji. To, to, in order to progress the story, you have to talk to Koji. But, at the same time, to get the cat medal, you can't talk to Karen in this interaction. To talk, talking to Karen has no, no impact on progressing the story from this point on in this area. However, if you want a question mark medal, which, yes, it is a question mark medal, you would need... To get, or you would need to talk to Karen repeatedly to get all of her text that happens here. And then talk to Koji. I'm going to go with talking to, I'm going to save here and then show what happens when you talk to Koji and then, or show Koji, or show the Karen scenario because I'm going for the cat metal personally. That's me. So let me save and I'll show you the dialogue. Mind you, this is the order you need to do it in, in order to get the question mark medal. I'm a little embarrassed to say this, but I get pretty dizzy out on sunny days. I get all woozy and feel like I'll faint, so I have to rest here. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine, I'll be okay, I just need to rest a little. Is there something on my face, or... It, look, it looked like Erica wanted to say something just before. Icky! Are you just going to hang around with girls all day, or are you going to do actually help? Get to work! It looked like Erica wanted to say something, but... And at this point, you would then talk to Koji. This is how you would get the question mark medal. Leave Karen alone! She's resting right now! And now, this is how you would actually get the cat medal. You would just talk to Koji. 
This lake is fishy. Didn't I tell you to go check out somewhere else besides here? And that's it. You just leave. Hey, Iki, we should go to Odoro Marsh next. Are we done here? Nothing is showing up here, so let's get going. Wow, Erica, you sure are fired up about this. What did you say? Nothing. Let's go. Essentially, you just ignore Karen. But yeah, that's pretty much all you do over here. There are only those four... Uh, there are only those four encounters I realize, and I repeat myself again. I, I just stopped talking so I can cut those battles out. I might end up having to just do this a different way. But at the same time, ooh, wait, wait, you probably want to go down here first. Uh, that'd be better. Yeah, we can fight these guys. They're all required battles, but there are four different types of, um... Meta metabots there. There are only two additional like rollouts you can run into here, including uh, the poison copy from... Well, I think I'm going to call this episode here because, yeah, I feel like I've been recording for a little while. I probably don't have that much in the episode, but we'll cover what Odoro Marsh is like and hopefully the next area after this in the next episode. Anyway, this has been Third Tempest saying, have fun playing games. I will be showing the uh, other two encounters to this area in the next episode due to some time constraints. <laughs> Later. As a quick note, the four metabots here are the boy from the school now rocking with a scout type metabot, an old lady with an octopus and a shark kind of metabot. The octopus does bind so it slows your metabots down. The old man with the two floor metabots, not really anything noteworthy here. And finally, the scorpion metabot that will deal flow damage, which does damage your metabots a lot.